what is up everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can play almost all pc games using any kind of usb gamepad so in case you're still new here and you have not yet subscribed please go ahead and click on the subscribe button turn on notifications in order not to miss out on any of my weekly uploads i upload videos just like this one every week so Stay tuned not to miss out on any of my videos. Okay, so you first have to download Xbox 360 CE app. The link is given down in the description. After your download is complete, locate where the app has been downloaded. So mine is downloaded here, the desktop, then copy it, copy, now let's say you want to play Mortal Kombat, go to the desktop icon, right click on it, then open file location, after that just paste here. Okay, so after pasting, go to the app and then right click, run as administrator. Okay. So it will ask you to create some DLL file. Click on create. So at this point, if you have your controller, you should now go ahead and plug it in if you haven't already. Okay, after plugging it in, it will bring that dialog box as you can see. So if you have an internet connection, you can leave this checked, but if you are offline, you can just uncheck this and click on next, then click on finish. Now if you have more than one controller which is connected, as you can see for my case, I have a twin USB gamepad, so I have two gamepads which are connected right now. You repeat the same procedure as before. Click on next. Alright, after that, come to the bottom part and click on auto. Click on yes. Then come here where it says controller one. So you just switch to the next to another controller by clicking on that. Do the same thing, click on auto, say yes. Now, after that is done, you have to check whether your buttons are corresponding to the buttons in the illustration here. So let's see. So as you can see, the buttons are not corresponding. In order to change this, just come and click on any button you want to change click on record so in the illustration they will show you which button you have to press in order for them to correspond so now in my case it is button three click on that. then you repeat the same thing for the other button So you check again and see whether every button is working. Alright, so now for this controller, every button is okay. So now you repeat the same procedure for the other controllers. If you have more than one connected. In my case I have two. So after that is done and you are sure that all your buttons are corresponding very well to the ones in the, in the illustration, 
just come down here and click on save then close this so now that's all your gamepad should be able to work in the game okay so let's try and test it and see if the As you can see, the buttons are working pretty well. And so that's all guys, that's it for today. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you're not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button turn on notifications in order not to miss out on any of my videos catch you next time peace scorpion